Hello RC fans, 393 here again today. If you remember back in the day, or oh, one of my videos must have been nearly a year and a half ago now, probably, maybe a year, I did one on a Kyosho MP5, which is the one you see before you. I have been restoring this for probably about two years, 18 months. And it's taken ages to get all the bits that I need. And it's still not totally complete. Um, just, so just to go over what I've sort of purchased in the past, um, you can probably see, uh, I'm not sure if you can, but it is an original engine. It's not bolted in, but that's one of the original engines. That's one of the things I'm gonna do today. Some different wheels and tires is what the original MP5 would be on um, and slightly I had to mod well not modify I have to upgrade the the hubs to take the new wheels because the uh, the original hubs which I'll show you in a second I, I, the, the measurement fails me at the moment um, the ones on the car are 17 millimeter hex and I'm pretty sure the ones that are originally on the car were 22 millimeter hex, I think. With this car, um, I'll just tip the car up just to show you, because you can see it from there. There's a lot of upgrades. I've got so a lot of carbon upgrades on this one, which is the front brace, the uh, servo mount plate, rear shock tower, and I think the brake, underneath there sort of the brake brace is carbon fiber i've also uh, a little while ago but anyway i've put there's a brand new chassis on it so that's not even been run and the screws are all brand new so i had a new sc a screw set designed for the kyosho mp5 so what's this video about today well one of the things I had problems with is mounting this. I still think I'm going to have issues because these are the original engine mounts. Which I didn't realise was on the car until I got until I'm going to show you something else. So they're the original engine mounts here. Um, the issue I had, as you can see, probably, I don't know, I have to turn the car around if you can actually see that but if you can look at the engine plates I mean they are on and they've been chopped around a little bit but because the, the main reason I mean they, if that if that stayed on there quite firmly I think it would be okay as in the fixing point of this but the main issue I've got the car on this particular engine the rope is proud it sticks out and even with the plates on there I think this bit doesn't sit flush I think that's the problem on the old chassis which I've now sold I noticed there were some extra cutouts on it so that that could sit just sort of level with the bottom of the chassis it wasn't sticking out protruding and I often wondered why it was there but when I first got it now that also leads me on to a, another um, situation the, 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 the original motor for this well most definitely wasn't pull start so it wouldn't have had I mean that plate is always going to be on there on this engine so that plate there regardless of whether this was on it or not was always going to be on there which makes me then think that maybe that's not the engine that came with the chassis I could be wrong 
I do have other engines which I might look at to see whether they fit but well the main reason for this the video here is I've got another chassis here which I'm going to show you briefly this is another sort of rolling chassis of an MP5 and it's got these plates on it there and I think I don't know the, again it's the, the chassis on here hasn't got a hole cut out I'm really hoping you can see that if I put it in front of the yeah so it hasn't got a hole here so and these are the original mounts so oh, the plan is to take them off here and put them onto the chassis however upon further reflection I'm not so sure that's going to work. I, the first thing to do, I'm going to take the plates off, the plates off this chassis, take the plates off the new, the, the other chassis, and just go from there and see if the engine can sit flat. Uh, if not, I'd have to have a plan B, which I haven't actually got at the moment. Uh, okay, right, let me do that and I'll be right back. Welcome back. So what I've done, it's taken me for about an hour to sort out. It hasn't, it hasn't quite worked out as I planned. Now, the engine that I did have in it was this one. This is pretty much the standard one that came with, well, that I got with the kit. It might not be the one that comes with the Kaya uh, Show, but as, as expected, this bit's too proud so it won't fit on these mounts unless I get longer mounts which I'm not sure you can you might be able to but I'm not aware of them to make it so it would sit flush you can't have it too high because it has to mesh with the, uh, the pinion or the drum the uh, clutch bell so I thought well the, the engine plates still fit the chassis. And as you can see, um, I have to try and move the camera a little bit if I can, just so it's a bit more in, in keeping of where I'm at. Um, like that. You can see I've got a different engine in it. This is a, oh, what's the name of this one? Asmunds? I can't remember. It's a nice motor and it's, it is in. It's not nipped and there's a, there is a screw missing from the mount there but it, it is in and it, it works. However, if I show you that, I don't even see that, hopefully you can. It's not quite, the pinion, the um, clutch bell's not quite lining up with the spur gear. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's probably about a third, no, maybe not quite that much. 10%, no, 20% not quite meshed. I don't know. It's not flush as it should be. Now remember, when I got this kit, when I bought this, the chap told me that he stripped, there's a spare spur gear because he'd stripped the one that's on the car. And he thinks it's because he didn't have the motor meshed correctly. He doesn't know. Uh, upon, I mean, it was, I can remember now, but looking back and comparing to what I've got here, this motor came with the kit as I purchased it with this one as well. The, he said it was the original. Um, so I kind of left it at that really, to be honest. Now, what I did find out in the meantime was this motor can come with its own engine mounts blocks if you like and here they are however 
These are the engine blocks which allow the engine to move back and forth. There's supposed to be some shims in there that sort of slot in and they're held in with the engine mounts at the top. They screw down and when you loosen the engine ones here you can move the engine back and forth which is what I need. That's why I bought it. But in, in, that, in that particular time the engine plates that I had were stripped and they wouldn't fit. I'm hoping that these fit those plates. That is another um, situation that those holes underneath match on there. Um, it's really difficult. So these are where the engine bolts and it moves. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just check. Yeah. So you can see that these ones they, they allow the motor to move that way, which either puts the mesh tight together or loose. Now if these went on, it's difficult to tell by that. It's a very crude way. I don't think, well they might, these might fit them which would allow, you know, if they're on there, they'll move that way with the motor and these slots at the front allow the motor to move this way, which is what I need. It has to be moved further forward. It will go, but there is room. Um, the, you know, the, the exhaust header, the manifold as I would call it, is quite close to the motor and all the sort of the moving parts here. Um, that can just be, pivoted or um, I can have that at an angle and cut a little bit of this away to allow that exhaust to go in that's also fine and it will move the, the clutch bell and there is room there's not a huge amount of room in there but it will move you know a fraction of an inch over towards the front which will mesh these a lot better and in effect shouldn't really cause any problem. So that's where we're at. Uh, yeah, I've got to source these again. I can't find the bits that went in the middle, which is a shame. Um, they don't even fit on here because, see even the, if these were a little bit deeper, that would work, but they're not. So these, if these were down, you know, so they, they're they proud, this would go straight in, but it, cause it, it rests on the bottom of the chassis. Hence the original chassis had a massive crude cutout in it. So this could proud, go below it. Now I also then think this is not the original motor that came with the MP five. I'm not absolutely sure which one it is. Uh, I can resort, I'll have a look to see what, what motors I have available, like I can, I can purchase. This one's pretty close. This one isn't too bad. I just need to source the uh, mounts. So that's where we're at. So as usual, most things, they never quite go according to plan. Um, but now we will get there. Uh, I can probably take the, uh, this is the original air filter, I'm hoping that will fit that. I'm not sure where it's going to go though, probably it needs to go out of the way. It needs to be cable tied on there, but <coughs> I'm not sure it will go where it is. Because I then I've got a funny feeling, I don't think this fits with that motor on. It might do. Um, it does go on. Not, it, it, 
it might need to be ever so slightly trimmed. But bearing in mind, this is a pull start. So that doesn't really bode too well. And the exhaust isn't quite where it needs to be. So that there's always issues. <laughs> I mean, the pull start is underneath here. And potentially, um, you could put, start it up and then put this on. It's not a, a big issue, but you can't tune it while in situ anyway. You can't refuel. I mean, that, that they've got a bit on the they They're supposed to be cut out as well, uh, which it isn't. Um, I've got some paint stripper for this, by the way. So, um, But this is an original body shell, but it's not quite not sure what's holding that down I think some of this might need to be trimmed but that's a, that's a little bit of a way off yet all right uh, so the next stage is I mean I could actually I could probably drill a hole in there and that's the tube well, the, the, the high speed needle can't do the other one not necessarily put a hole in here I'm not sure I'm gonna bother do that yet I think I'll worry about that as and when. So the next plan is try and source some of these again. I'll have a look. I've got, they're in my sort of history. I'll have to look when I bought them. And once that's done, I have got some aluminium shocks, which should, from what I can gather, is a direct replacement to what's on there. Um, they feel alright. These are aluminium. These are aluminium as well. They just look nicer. I've got loads of these now. I've got loads of originals. These shocks for the MP4. I don't know about four sets. So stop saying so. Stop saying. Uh, just stop. Right. Well, I am. I am. I'm going to stop. That's it. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to ramble on. The. the so the follow-up is going to be literally getting this motor mounted and everything on where it should be and this too will head for a startup not too worried about a, a body shell fitting just yet um, but yeah it's a little way off but we're getting there I would, I would have liked to keep the, you know, this one in. I wanted to sort of keep it fairly original. I'll have to see, do some research. Because this one fits better, as in the pinion. I keep saying pinion, but well, it is a pinion, but it's part of the clutch as well, isn't it? So the clutch bell, pinion, if you like. So that's all ready to go. It's just... I mean, this backing plate is part of the block. I can't take that off. And invariably, the, the flywheel, if it was a, a non pull start engine, the flywheel's gonna be a bit bigger to stick through the chassis, so. Anyhow, that's, that's, that's where we're at. So um, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching this time. Um, if anyone knows anything about anything, please let me know. <laughs> my options because it's going to be really helpful but i appreciate your time thanks for watching and bye for now